Hey everyone, today we're gonna to show you how simple it is to pre-download maps for Google Maps ahead of time before you even travel. It's totally free and really simple to do. And then we're gonna show you how to use them as well on your phone, so check it out. Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Explorer, and if you are new to this channel, it is all about travel, exploring, and discovery, so make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Today we're going to be showing you how simple it is to download maps and use them offline in Google Maps, saving you money on data charges while you travel, or just navigate around your own town. So first off, let's show you how to download them for offline use, and then we'll jump in my car and show you how to navigate. All right, so we've got my phone here, and the first thing we want to do is make sure that my Wi-Fi is on and my cellular data is off. And on these Android phones, you can just swipe down from the top. You can see my Wi-Fi is on there, but my data is on as well, so I'm going to turn that off so I'm not downloading these maps over my cellular data. From there, once you've done that, let's go ahead and open up Google Maps. And once that's opened up, you can just do a search for whatever city you want to download the map for. I happen to search for Las Vegas, and this is what we're going to be downloading for the first example today. And from there, I'm going to just hit the back button in the top left until I see my little logo or picture in the top right hand corner. So if this is the map you do want to download, let's go ahead and click on our picture. And it's going to bring up a menu where we can swipe down to the bottom and we're going to see an option here that says offline maps and if i click on offline maps you're going to see all the maps that i've pre-downloaded already so this is how you would get into all your maps if you do want to down delete them you can just hit on the three dots next to them and delete them or update them there but what we're looking to do at the top here is an option that says select your own map so if i hit select your own map again that map of las vegas comes up you can use two fingers to zoom in and out and find the exact map that you do want to download. And at the bottom it says the download will use 60 megabytes of free space. So you can know exactly how much it's going to use. If I actually zoom in, you can see that that number will go down. So now it's 35 megabytes. So I'm going to download all of Las Vegas there at 60 megabytes. From there, we can just go ahead and click the download button here and it's going to start downloading. So you can see the downloading started. And if we look here, it's already at 5%. So that's just gonna to continue to download in the background. Now the second method to download your maps, it's probably the, actually the easier method. So let's find a different city here. Um, let's do Palm Springs. And once that's loaded up here, let's have a look. So I've got Palm Springs loaded up and maybe you just wanna download all of Palm Springs. At the bottom here, there's writing. It says Palm Springs, California, USA. Just click on those words and it's gonna bring up a whole bunch of information on Palm Springs. This is great information if you're traveling to a city. And at the top here, you're gonna see an option that says download here on the right hand side. We're just gonna click on that. And again, it's gonna bring up that map so you can decide what you wanna start downloading. So you can zoom in or out. Maybe in this situation, I just want downtown Palm Springs, and that's gonna be 20 megabytes. It says that up there at the bottom. I can just go ahead and click download. And again, that's gonna start downloading in the background you can see download started and it's just going to continue there so that's how you do download your maps for offline use so let's go ahead and jump in my car and show you exactly how to use these maps all right so the first thing we need to do is make sure that our gps is turned on on our phone so again on these androids i can just swipe down from the top and i can hit the location button here which is going to turn on the gps on my phone you can see that the wi-fi and the data are turned off from there, let's go ahead and open up Google Maps. And once that's opened up, you can see that it actually knows where I am located in the Orchard Park Mall there. I'm the little green dot. So we can just start to do a search here. I'm gonna maybe search for Starbucks. And once you've done that, it's gonna bring up a full search results for Star Starbucks. So it's gonna be searching right now through the database now. Not every business is gonna be located in here, but most of them do show up. And once you've done that, it's just taking its time here to do that search. Here they come. And all the Starbucks in the area do come up. You can see it saying offline showing limited results. So I'm gonna just pick one of these here. Let's go ahead and pick this one here. And once I've picked that one, I can hit directions 
And as the directions are loading up, I can see how to drive there. I'm gonna hit start. And that's gonna start right up. There we go, it's loading up. And they are on there. So let's head out and drive towards Starbucks. Right onto Banks Road. And as you can hear, the GPS directions still work even though we're offline. This is absolutely amazing for traveling. Okay, so we made it to Starbucks and our navigation worked great. And it's that easy to use Google Maps offline. So I hope this tutorial on how to pre-download maps for offline use in Google Maps helped you out. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to Northern Viking Explorer because I've got tons of videos coming up that I'd love to share with you. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, safe travels. Thank you.